talk about your dad. There were some things I read. Did he about some drills? Did he make you do certain drills, man? Like with with basketball <sighs> and with like arithmetic and stuff. So you know, third, fourth grade or whatever, you're learning your multiplication yeah. tables and division stuff, addition, subtraction, whatever it is. You're spelling words. And so I'd go and I'd practice, and he would just take the ball at one point, and either he'd throw it on the other side of the yard, and I'd run and get it and start over. It's like, why would you do that? But now you know how to handle distractions and whatever. Yeah. Well, he would do it, and he'd just take the ball, and he'd say, you know, five times three, uh, 15. Okay, uh, spell whatever your word is this week, whatever the words are. Talk to me about your book report, you know. Dude, I don't think I, I could mean, do whatever. that as an adult. I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's just all I knew. What well, paid off, man? After school, oh, this is a good one too. After school, we'd get in the car, and he'd say, "How was school? It's good. What'd you do? Nothing. What'd you learn? Nothing. All right. All right. Start over. What'd you learn? Boom. And I'd take him through the whole day. What'd you do at recess? I'd take him through the whole day. Then he'd say, "Okay, tell me everything again." And you can't say like, and you can't say um. Ooh, that's tough. I and said, as a kid. Oh. It's so hard. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to do now. Yeah. I mean, talking to the media now yeah. is. There's 40, 50 people. I've done it before. It's not yeah, hard anymore. Hat. And it was just habit. So he created that. I know you're close to your brothers too. What kind of influence did they have on you growing up? Um, you know, my oldest brother, I, would, I didn't get too close with him until um, after high school because he was gone. He was, in, he was in college at Yale. Oh, wow. But he was the first one in our family to go to college. Wow, he, so, he overachieved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he shot for the moon, man. And it was, it was great. Um, but I just remember... You know, getting home from basketball tournaments, calling him, him calling home, collect, yeah. and before cell phones and all that. And, <laughs> and he was like, uh, let me talk to Mark. And I said, hey, we won our basketball tournament. I got a new trophy. You know, when you come home, you got to see it. And uh, so I, I remember talking to Nick that way. And then Bran went off to college when I was just about getting into high school. So, yeah. um, but, but they've been great for me. And, and, and then they, they still have a lot of Oh, they're still there right? all the time. Nick, um, well, Brandon also helps uh, work with me. Just day-to-day -day stuff, help managing things, and then Nick also helps represent me as a sports agent. Was there any Latinos on television, not sports-related, just any you saw on television that you're like, hey, wow, you know, there's there's one of me. Well, I mean, um, from Saved by the Bell, not even joking. When you were on that, that was cool. dude. I'm not I mean, that old, dude. I mean, you're making me feel. I used to watch it. I used to watch it. Um, you used to watch it? Oh my God, yeah. It, because it was on the reruns by the time I was in school. No, See, now I do sound old. Now I feel like... Not that old. <laughs> You're only like 41, right? Freaky. <laughs> no, um, that was cool to me. Um, Tight. <laughs> bigger fan now. You know How'd you gotten, like my curly mullet? That was pretty Did you inspiring but cheesy. Remember Did you that? just like the Eye of the Tiger? <laughs> inspiring and cheesy. If my Eye mullet had a, had a theme song, it would be the Eye of the Tiger. It would probably be Eye of the Tiger. Did you ever rock a mullet? I didn't. I had long curly hair, but it never really. It didn't. Really, it didn't reach most. My status. dad. My dad. Oh man, he's so frugal, man. We. <laughs> at one point in like second grade, he convinced me, with my brothers, both of my brothers' help, that it was a good idea to shave my head. Okay, and I have a weird shaped head. It's, I kind of have like a bump right here, and it just looks weird. And yeah. I have bigger ears, <laughs> so I grew into them fairly decently. So I don't want to talk about my ears, but they, at the time, were huge, and. They convinced me in second grade, I remember the summer, they said, it's going to be so hot, you should just cut your hair off. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be cool. So I went to the barber and we did it. Well, then my dad bought clippers. So he started doing it just in the backyard, right? <laughs> so money. then it just became this thing. And before I knew it, I was a junior in high school and I was still shaving my head. And I was like, wait a second, I don't want to shave my head. <laughs> Why do I have to do this? You convinced me a long time ago. I'm done with this. So Low maintenance, though. That was it. I mean, probably save thousands of dollars for my dad. Mario Lopez, one-on-one, -on -one, premieres Thursday at 8, only on Nouveau TV.